New at noon, Rhode Island Supreme Court Chief Justice Paul Sattel tells 12 News a Superior Court judge hit by a car outside the State House last night is in serious condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Judge Richard Leach was hit on Smith Street around 6 o'clock last night, we're told, with non-life-threatening injuries. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us live from the State House now with what else we know this noontime. Alex. Well, Kate, we're back in the area where this happened now, near the corner of Smith and Straight Streets, where just behind me, police say the driver of a yellow Jeep hit a 74-year-old man in the middle of the road that we've since learned to Superior Court Judge Richard Leach. Now, in our video, you can see the uh, scene here. Police are focused in the middle of Smith Street, not in a crosswalk or near a speed hump. We're told the female driver <clears throat> of this Jeep remained on scene and she was allowed to leave in her own car about two hours after this happened. That's after police took pictures of the dashboard of her car. Police also took measurements of the road in the area where this happened. The impact of this crash, however, is evidenced by a crack in the driver's windshield, plus shoes and clothing of the victims in the road. It's not clear how fast the driver may have been going. This afternoon, it's also unclear if this driver will face any criminal charges, but the incident is being investigated by the department's traffic division. Reporters asked if this area near the state house has had traffic issues. We do not see a lot of accidents over here. Um, but we do not have what we tend to uh, see as, as speeding up here. And in that statement that Kate uh, said at the top of the show with Chief Justice Paul Sattel, he thanked, he thanked first responders and public safety personnel who were at the scene last night. And he asked that Judge Leach and his family have privacy at this time. Reporting in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.